Before you decide on how many sites to go to, first of all, think what are the key communities, key types of communities. We're not creating a statistically representative sample, but we do want to go to typical areas that are affected. So it requires some knowledge of the area. Consult with local people. Find out what the initial assessments have said. Use satellite photos, whatever. And you've got to know something from, from the history about this area. Are there different ethnic groups? Are they likely to be at a different standard of living? Are some physical areas affected more than others? Are some people dis disenfranchised? Do some have poor access, maybe because they're migrants? Or uh, are they of a different livelihood group? Because a disaster may affect uh, pastoralists and agriculturalists differently. So you've got to know something about this. What's the geographic area that the event has occurred in? What are the different groups of people and different standards or types of living that they have before you choose what kind of communities you want to go to? You may decide that you want to go to both agriculturalist and pastoralist communities. You may want to go to communities by the main road and far from the main road. You may want to go to communities of an ethnic group, a, minor, a minority, make sure that you have a sample that includes two different minority ethnic groups. Um, you may have an idea that some areas have been directly affected and other areas are receiving the victims who are staying in the homes of the people in the other areas. In that case, you want to go both to the area that's affected and where the displaced people are and communities where they are. I've identified four or five criteria that you may use. What you want to do is make sure you've gone to at least a couple of each of those. I would say four or five. So that you can say, all the areas of this ethnic group look like this versus of another ethnic group. Or all the places where displaced people are in homes of people who have not been displaced are like this. Whereas camps where people don't have any regular homes to stay with or relatives to stay with, look like this. If you've identified four or five different variables that are likely to affect what their needs are, and if you've gone to four or five of those kinds of communities, you'll be able to say whether the group of communities that you visited of a particular type are similar to one another or if they're very different one from another. What you're looking for here is what's the commonality among these communities? What's the central tendency? How are they characterized? And is it similar or different than other groups of interest? Are people who have been displaced in need of more food than people who are in their homes? Usually it is. So ask about um, what their food situation is. And see if indeed the four or five communities that you've gone to of that type are similar to one another, but different than the four or five communities of this type. What you can do with this information is make logical arguments about the kinds of people who are affected and the kind of effects that you have. You're positing that these communities are characteristic of the wider range of communities. You hope to be able to make statements of a qualitative nature on how particular these are or how generalizable they are to others. Because if you're going to 20 or 30 communities and you've thought about the kinds of variables that are going to affect how people are, you can probably do that in a couple days. You don't need a large sample, which might take you two weeks. We often take large samples to avoid the criticism that we've got an unrepresentative group. But if you thought through who you've gone to and if you ex have explained why we went to these communities, and then if you can compare the results of these communities compared to that one, of this ethnic group compared to that one, of these areas that are directly affected compared to those that are directly, indirectly affected, then you can make reasonable statements about the wider population of people who are affected in the areas of interest.